I went down from 18% to 10% body fat, <laughs> almost accidentally. I usually don't make these kinds of videos because I'm simply not a gym bro. The gym is not part of my identity. I use it to feel good about myself, to respect myself. And of course, because I understand the importance of having an aesthetic physique, both for how you feel in your body, as well as how you are received by the world. We all understand that when you see someone who's fit, who's aesthetic, this already speaks volumes about the guy without him even opening his mouth, right? And I'm sharing this for the guy who's also in the gym or wants to go in the gym, but doesn't want to count calories, doesn't want to spend hours and hours every week on the gym, doesn't want to make it a part of his identity, right? Who still wants to drink sometimes and cheat and eat whatever he wants. I'm gonna to present to you how I did it, not to tell you it's the best way, because we all know in this nutrition and fitness world, there's literally on every subject, people saying the exact opposite and it's super exhausting. That's why I don't make it such a big part of my life because I realized already a long time ago, it's just your truth, it's just what works for you. And so this worked for me and you can cherry pick the value or copy the whole system if you really resonate with it. To get to a very aesthetic physique without counting calories, without making it your life in a way that values simplicity and efficiency because you have more important things to do, right? For me, that's my business, my clients, my friends, my family. Other things in my life are much more important. Becoming aesthetic in, in my opinion, the most enjoyable and natural way. So let's get into it. I'm bringing this information forth very genuinely because I am not selling any workout routines, supplements or, or diets, nothing. My coaching is about, in my opinion, more important subjects. And this is just a territory, a pillar of the overall journey. This is genuinely how I got there and I have no monetary gain whatsoever. So let's get into it. First, little context. I've been in the gym for eight years been doing jiu-jitsu for three and a half years. In terms of supplements, I take steroids. End of the video. Obviously, I don't take steroids. I take creatine. The science is very clear on that for a long time. You should be taking creatine if you work out. For the rest, I take zinc, magnesium, and vitamin D in the winter. And by the way, taking zinc as a man, I really advise it. It has some nice benefits in the bedroom for your situation down there. So as a man, you should definitely be taking zinc. If you want to know the exact best supplements to take, go to examined.com. This is a database of science where you can just type in zinc and it will give you the absolute best, most purest form of zinc and for any other supplements. I also want to make clear that I work really hard in the gym. So intensity really matters. It is probably the, the highest compounding effect you can realize if you go into the gym and you go over that hurdle every gym session. We all know these autopilot sessions where you're kind of on your phone in this hazy state where you don't really want to go over that hurdle into discomfort. And this goes really against the whole idea that I want to bring forth. This goes against that efficiency. Because if you go to the gym on that autopilot mode, you're just wasting time. You're not really breaking down your muscle fibers. You're not really earning those endorphins that you get to feel after. So it's a waste of time. And if you have more important things to tend to, then this is just a waste of time. So when you get into the gym, you know that you can do five reps more in that set. You know it. Intensity really matters for any kind of result you want in the gym. So I do want to have mentioned that. In terms of my workout routines, I've done the same fucking split for eight years, back biceps, chest triceps, legs, and then shoulders and core. I keep switching it up because the variety is also important to keep your body guessing. The exercises that I have never changed are squats, incline chest press, barbell rows, lateral raises, weighted dips, weighted pull-ups, chin-ups for biceps, and tricep pull-downs, obviously for triceps. Those are the exercises that I never changed, and in my experience, I found these to be highly effective. And so, of course, as the schedule indicates, I work out four times a week. And in terms of exercise progression, I always start with high repetitions, and I end in the third or fourth set 
on the lowest amount of repetitions, simply trying to move the heaviest weight I can move. And in every exercise I do one set with, with isometric holds, which is simply holding the weight on the contraction point of the movement. So if you're doing a pull up, all the way up you contract it and hold it for three seconds if you're doing lunges right when you go down where it's most heavy you hold it for three seconds when i started doing this two years ago i really noticed a big difference in how it developed my aesthetic and it also builds strength in a different way i noticed i was getting much stronger in jiu-jitsu as I was literally training on holding a heavy weight in a certain position to hold that contraction. So you become stronger in different ways as well. Again, I value efficiency and simplicity. So I'm doing high reps, low reps, isometric holds. I'm doing all of it because I want to be athletic and strong in all different ways. I don't want to be focusing on one particular thing. I just value training in all these different ways so that I'm not skipping anything. I'm not doing any cardio in the gym. As I said, I'm doing martial arts. And in my opinion, this is the first real game changer because you can say what you want and talk about calories in and calories out all day long. I simply noticed in my anecdotal experience that when I'm training for a tournament and and I'm doing a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. When I'm regularly doing these intense cardio sessions, I look aesthetic in a different way. And secondly, it also gives you that extra space to work with in terms of your calories in, calories out. Because, because when you're doing martial arts, you easily have sessions where you burn 700, 800 calories. And the beautiful thing, and that's why I call it a game changer, you don't really notice that you're doing cardio. You're just having fun, you're fighting, you're laughing, you're and you're not focused on doing cardio. It's not this dreadful experience as if you're on the treadmill. So then, let me tell you the way that actually caused me to go from 18% to 10% body fat. What did it for me was intuitive eating combined with intermittent fasting. Let me give you a very clear way of getting into this and how it works. Step one is calculate your caloric maintenance. With your weight and height and activity level, just one of these easy calculators on the internet, you can calculate the amount of calories you need to stay exactly like this. Then, step two, take one of these calorie counting apps like MyFitnessPal or whatever and count your calories for two weeks. I know I said we're not gonna count calories and that's because we are not. We're simply doing this to gain the insights and knowledge and to learn about the foods that we typically eat, what their macro values are, what their caloric values are, for you to get a very intuitive understanding of food and what roughly you have on your plate. Just two weeks and you have a great understanding, right? We're not gonna count calories. We're not gonna do that shit. Now, step three would be to stop counting calories and to move to the weight that you want to stay on and do the body recomposition on. If you are 80 kilograms and you want to stay on that weight, perfect, you can skip this. If you are 83 kilograms and you want to go to 80 kilograms, first do that. Now with this intuitive understanding of the foods on your plate, this is a great exercise to calculate again how much calories do you need to take in to move to 80 kilograms, right? That would be 150, 200 calories under your maintenance. Again, calculate it quickly. And then use that intuitive understanding to move to 80 kilograms, right? Just weigh yourself every day to, to track the progress. And I swear, if you've done this, you have an amazing intuitive understanding of how you go down, go up in weight by listening to how your body feels, when you feel full, when you really need food, when you don't, the caloric values of your meals in front of you. You're using all of this to now finally listen more intuitively to yourself and move to that weight. When you've done this, you are set to never count a single calorie in your life anymore and it will just be a natural understanding without even thinking about it. It will allow you to exactly do what I've done. Then step four is basically the end of it. It's the continuation. That's what you can keep doing. And here comes the core, the game changer that allowed me to do this. And so this is where you start intermittent fasting. First of all, when you are 19 years old, you will thank yourself and be eternally grateful that you started intermittent fasting now because there are some very powerful studies done on the blue zones in this world, right? The places in the world where people become the oldest, how that relates to their local culture, lifestyle, and so on. 
the thing that they all have in common is that they skip breakfast and there are so many other interesting studies that i advise you to read if you're interested to have a regular fasting schedule every day allows your body to do all the shit that it needs to do it's even linked to avoiding cancer and parkinson's and all these nasty diseases you'll be doing yourself a massive favor anyhow but of course you're interested in being shredded as fuck so let's <laughs> i respect that so start implementing a 16 8 intermittent fasting schedule so for me personally i stop eating at 9 p.m i skip breakfast and then i eat at one i don't even think about it it's literally what i want to do anyways and it took me three days i'm not even lying it took me three days to get used to this why because the biggest part of our existence we have been fasting in much more extreme circumstances not by choice or self-development circumstance to survive let's say on your standard working day and you're not drinking you're not cheating you're not going out for dinner you just stop eating at nine you eat again at one do your workouts at the end of the fast if you can get used to doing fasted workouts you'll also notice that you're even stronger when you don't eat i found at least this will do you even more good right but then the general idea is this you can go out to dinner and eat anything you want until 12 p.m it simply means that you now skip your 1 p.m lunch and you eat again at 4. you constantly have this intuitive compensation system where you can do whatever the fuck you want you can drink you can cheat you can eat, whatever you want as long as you push forward your fasting schedule this works like magic and i know i just called it paying a price but it's actually not this is why it's intuitive and natural, right? If you've eaten at 12 p.m., that is going out of your rhythm, out of your routine. Your body might give you this mechanical urge to eat at 1 p.m. If you really feel in your body, you will feel bloated, you will feel full, heavy, and you don't actually want to eat, right? So it's very natural and intuitive to push forward that fast until four. This is how you compensate for the cheating meal, for the drinking session, for whatever, right? I, I like to see it as, okay, I'm gonna eat now at 12 p.m., you know, order some pizza or whatever. That means I'm already taking my lunch for next day. And if you see it like that, it's actually very natural, intuitive, and it's not some dreadful process of going down in body fat. And of course, I know this is a lot of information, but very simply, what is intermittent fasting actually doing? It is allowing you to be in ketosis for around three to four hours every day. Your body can generate energy in three different ways, right? By digesting food, by using the enzymes in your liver. That's the second phase. And then thirdly, this occurs after around 12 hours of not eating. Your body now starts to burn fat reserves, which is called ketosis, uh, after those 12 hours. And so every day you will be in ketosis for a little bit. A very healthy window for your body to solve all these other problems in your body. That is simply how I went from 80% to 10% body fat. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is my cardio, working out with a very basic fitness schedule four times a week, focusing on intensity, and for the rest, I'm simply intuitively fasting. I always fast 16 hours, and if I cheat, I'll pay the price the day after which you will notice is not really paying a price. This is what your body actually wants, right? And this allows you to stay on your maintenance, right? To get in the calories that you need to stay on this weight, but to burn fat every day, to be working out every day, and this way gradually, but quickly, doing a body recomposition where you go down in body fat. If you really want to boost things, do implement those faster workouts, right? When you're already on a fast, and then at the end of that fast, you move, you do a workout, you actually push your body in ketosis a little faster, right? And again, that's how I did it. That's how I moved from 18% body fat to 10%. In my opinion, very enjoyable, natural, intuitive way for it to actually happen quite accidentally. I hope that helps. If you're interested in joining the community that's going to launch in January, we're currently collecting men to be on the pre-launch list. From that list, 20 guys will be the backbone of the community as we launch. 
of course being athletic strong healthy physical is a pillar as a territory that we focus on all the further details and information on this will of course be inside the community in the form of course material and the weekly sessions if that sounds interesting and you're one of those men with that fire to develop every part of your life to still be masculine in these modern times then click on the link in the description fill in the short form and then we'll get in touch with you anyhow for now that's it see you in the next one